How did you get involved with the game initially? Uh, initially, uh, a family down the road uh, pulled up at front of our house one day and asked me if I wanted to go to uh, football. And the rest is history. <laughs> and, and did you start playing? Were you, were you involved in like, yeah. it like a mini woo back in the day? Uh, I was, um, I think it was full-sided, like a, a junior match, so under 10 Vikings is, is who I played for. Uh, yeah, so in the next week, I think I raced home after um, getting back and begged mum to, to let me play and yeah, so, and I did. Strapped on the boots and had the, uh, the coach say, if girls want to play football, you've got to play in the backs. So I was quite happy with that. I think I put on the number three jersey. What do you like most about the game? Uh, the best thing about I love about the game is that it doesn't matter where you go in the world, someone is playing it. Um, with a makeshift ball, uh, it, it doesn't really matter. Like It doesn't matter if you're poor, if you're rich, um, anyone can, can play it. What made you get into refereeing and um, why? Uh, refereeing, my mum was a softball umpire, so I used to trail around with her um, when we were younger. So I always had the officiating bug. Uh, and then in Toowoomba, when I was playing for the university team, uh, we had seven players and a referee told me to put my money where my mouth was um, and he was conducting a course the following week. So I rocked up and I aced it. So. <laughs> and obviously you were playing when you were younger, but how do you compare refereeing to playing the game? Uh, refereeing is, uh, I guess, completely different. Um, it's good transition. Well, it's good to be a player uh, for positioning and interpreting fouls and for player management. Uh, you can understand the player's point of view, but you've also got to uh, apply the the laws of the game as well. Um, so, yeah, it, we don't see many players transition to refereeing, which is unfortunate. Any regrets from your refereeing career at all? Just uh, not managing my injuries. I was always wanting to get back out onto the pitches as soon as possible. So uh, there were a lot of cortisone injections into my spine. Painful. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any standout memorable moments or any embarrassing moments for, from your referee career? Uh, I'll cover the embarrassing one first. Uh, that's easy. Uh, a lot of people saw it. It was when I fell on my ass in the uh, opening ceremony game in the 2011 Women's uh, World Cup. So uh, that was in front of less than just under 84,000 people and televised live around the world. And memorable moments? Uh, memorable moments. Uh, for me, the Women's Under 20 World Cup, um, I was appointed to, as a fourth official to the, the final of that game. Uh, it was a big surprise for me, so that uh, is quite memorable. And also hearing my name called out for the opening ceremony match and the quarterfinal between Brazil versus USA. What has been your greatest frustration at all from, from your playing days or from your career days as a referee? Uh, greatest frustration is uh, managing my injuries. Um, uh, you think I'd learn, learn my lesson, but I didn't. <laughs> what advice would you give to a young female uh, referees starting out? Uh, starting out, uh, well, number one, you've got to enjoy the game. Uh, if you've got aspirations to go higher, you have to be fit. Uh, fitness is key. The game is getting quicker um, each year, so the referees have to be just as quick or even quicker, unfortunately. Um, and so uh, the next one is to surround yourself with good people, um, to be a good sounding board, uh, to be honest, and um, to give you good feedback. So whether it's your colleagues, uh, mentors or coach, you're going to have to develop a thick skin. You are going to be abused um, and it's just how you're going to be able to handle it and rise above it. And always remember that football is fun, um, even down when, when these things happen. Uh, the fifth one is to uh, honour self-reflection, uh, be true to yourself and be true to the game. You were recently listed as one of the top 10 female referees in the world. What were your thoughts on that? Uh, I was surprised. Um, I have refereed with half of the people on that list and I certainly rate those referees above myself. Um, they come with a lot more experience than what I do and um, they're amazing people. Uh, the, the, there was a couple of older ones. Sandra Hunt was actually my assessor um, who was listed at number seven, so I never actually saw her officiate, but um, she was also very, very experienced. And there was a couple of people left off that list, like Sonia Denencourt, um, who was one of the first female FIFA referees to ever referee a men's game, I think in South America. So, um, you know, humbled, um, but I don't think it's accurate. You're an AFC instructor and assessor, mm -hmm. travel about a lot. How, well, give us a little bit of that insight into that. 
And so that, well, as soon as I retired, uh, AFC gave me the opportunity to attend a Futuro course, um, and then I was successful in that, and I was invited to the Assessors Instructors course for AFC. Um, through that, I've been lucky to work with some fabulous girls, um, some developing girls, um, so uh, to go through Project Future, and I've say, gone to places like Tajikistan, and I've worked with girls from the West, um, from all different cultures and backgrounds, and um, I really enjoy that. And they still, you know, Facebook message me and tell me what they're up to, and uh, or asking more questions. So it's good to to see them progress, especially through the Project Future course. And where's the next trip taking you? The next trip is um, off to Vietnam for the Women Asian Cup qualifiers. Um, so Australia uh, finished first, so they've already qualified for that. So uh, Australian referees are actually spread out across uh, and instructors. So we've got Casey uh, and Laura from Melbourne. They're going to DPR Korea, um, in which DPR Korea uh, will play Korea for, and they'll probably be the top match. So um, best of luck with that one, girls. <laughs> Christina Sokolai, she's off to Tajikistan. Um, Kate Jakowitz and Renee Colkill, they're off to Palestine. And Sarah Ho, uh, with myself, we're in, in Vietnam. So we're, uh, um, Aussies are certainly flying the flag um, in all different venues. And do you sort of have plans to sort of continue refereeing perhaps locally? Well, uh, I had a small hiccup at Southside Eagles by finding the only hole, I think, on the field. <laughs> so I'm out for four to 12 weeks um, with uh, rehabbing that injury. Once again, injuries, I'm prone. Um, uh, but yeah, I'm hoping to uh, hopefully work with more of our younger female referees in the NPL or, or the Brisbane Premier League would be great. All right, Jackie, th thank you very much for your time and uh, good luck for your future uh, activities. Thank you.